Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to go to Strathaven Ales for only my second review actually. We're going to have a taste of their Usquebe today which is a whiskey ale. It comes in at 7%, Rate Beer has it listed as an amber ale so it should be quite interesting. Rated at 77 overall on there so it should be a pretty good beer. As I said this is only my second review I've done from this brewery. The last one was a festival amber ale if I remember correctly and um, I'm quite looking forward to trying this one it should be quite interesting and it's always cool to visit breweries that you haven't had anything from in quite a wee while so yeah um anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then i'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other strathaven ales reviews i've done before there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel the whole channel uses a geography based tagging system so you can go into the channel homepage and search for beer based on country, city or state, whatever you're interested in. There's also the playlists for the beers from different countries. Do check out the sake and whiskey reviews as well as the other things, the beer shop visits, the bar visits, uh, the interviews and things like that on the channel too. And as always, please get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. Your input and your support of the channel is always hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Strathaven Ales. So these guys are from the little town of Strathaven, or Straven for short, which is to the south of Glasgow and it's located in the historic Craig Mill Brewery on the River Avon. So the company was founded in 2005 by three business friends. This was Alan Young and Craig and Douglas Buchanan and they took over the brewery from Williams Brothers before they moved to Alloa actually. So the brewery has a capacity of about 36 barrels per week and their brewing equipment is a mixture of old dairy equipment and old brewing equipment from the Well Park Brewery in Glasgow which of course is tenants facility. They also have a 500 gallon stone clad brewing kettle of 18th century design as well so you get quite a few interesting beers out of that and really it's just a kind of quite nice little old building actually when you look at the, the website as I say you can check out the website in the description below and see more pictures of this place but there isn't actually too much information available on the brewery other than that what I've just told you so just to list the other beers you can get from these guys there's the Avondale which is an amber ale there's the Cleaver House which is a red ale Clydesdale which is an IPA Craig Mill Mild which is a black ale the Duchess Anne which is a light ale and they also have the Old Mortality which is an 80 shilling scotch ale so yeah and they also have this guy which I think might be a special edition because it's not listed on the website so I'm quite interested to try this one for you today so like I said this guy is a 7% amber ale it says 2.25 UK units 22.6 IBU and it says here on the side Uskebe the Gaelic for water of life a rich honey coloured ale matured for three months in specially selected rare oak casks to give a unique taste exuding a vanilla aroma, chewy toffee palate and a lasting warm finish. And it says the hops in this one are Galena, Columbus and First Gold but it doesn't say what the malt base are. I think it just says malted barley and it's also got it in German too so I'm guessing that these guys are exporting over to Germany as well. So yeah, I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open it up then. There we are. This one's, the label on this one is considerably more snazzy I guess than the last time I visited these guys. It's just a plain gold bottle cap on this one but I do like that new label artwork that they've put on these. It's kind of the same for all the different beers that they have but just the round doll, the edge of the round doll and the text is a slightly different colour as well on this one but very nicely presented 7% amber ale aged in whiskey casks so should be quite interesting. Let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then. So bit of a smoky opening there but not too much we'll get this guy out and into the glass and I tell you something that is a crystal clear beer we'll try and get a bit of a head on this see how we get on yeah a little bit of a head coming out there yeah sort of a quarter finger I guess you would say of a frothy kind of beigey tan head on there yeah a little bit of a kind of creamy beigey colour and I tell you something you can smell the sort of grainy biscuity character coming off this beer so as you can see then if I just hold this beer up to the light you can see it's a really nice kind of coppery amber colour I'll just put this light on and let you see that colour a bit more clearly really nice kind of bright orangey copper amber there's a quarter finger of a frothy white creamy coloured head in this one it looks very very nice that's faded away just to be a very thin foamy layer some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there but overall it looks really nice and I'm getting a nice sort of whiskey-ish caramelly aroma coming off of this one so it looks really good let's have a little closer look at the aroma then now that's a really interesting smelling beer 
If you get the chance to try this one, definitely take a little bit of time and just enjoy the aroma there. So this one has a big caramel aroma to it, a sort of big toffee caramel thing going on. A little bit toasted, I would say, as well. It's got a kind of butterscotchy character in there. So yeah, there's maybe a little bit of kind of bready character. When you sugar it up, I'm getting a bit of kind of graininess out of this beer, actually. You can smell the smooth, oaky character. A little bit of vanilla, I would say, as well. Sort of woody, kind of nutty character. The oakiness coming out. A bit of vanilla. Some kind of earthy hops. Maybe a little bit of grassiness, too. But the earthiness is definitely there. Earthy and grassy. And it mixes really nicely with that kind of barrel aged sweetness that I'm talking about. But yeah, a little bit of red fruity ester as well, just a kind of candied fruit ester. So yeah, smells really, really nice this one. Yeah, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this before you get stuck in. There's a good bit of grainy kind of biscuity character just underpinning it as well. But that kind of butterscotchy, caramelly, toffee sort of thing going on with the woody and nutty aspects of the beer, a bit of vanilla too, it really works out quite nicely. So let's get stuck into this one then. This is the Uskibe from Strathaven Ales in Straven in Scotland. Slanja, I'm not even sure if I pronounced the name of that right, but let's get stuck in. Slanja. That's quite interesting. First thing, I'm, I'm, the first impression I have of this beer, it's surprisingly light in flavour. Yeah, maybe to say it's light in flavour is a bit wrong actually, it's it's a very light mouthfeel this beer, so if you just take it in right away, the flavour can just go right across the, the top of the tongue, and then it really just starts to settle on the tongue right after that, it's quite unusual. So make sure when you try this beer for yourself, Sugar it around your palate and just hold it there. Let your whole mouth adjust to this beer. But it's actually quite an interesting blend of flavours, this one. Yeah. So you've got a nice kind of... There is a tiny little bit of pale malt there, but in the middle of the palate, it's a kind of caramel sort of toffee thing that's going on there. There's some woody kind of oaky aspects. It's actually got a little bit of spice to it. There's a little bit of that kind of spicy character sitting there in the middle of the palate. And on top of that, I'm getting a wee bit of vanilla, but there's woody and nutty flavours just kind of underpinning this whole centre of the palate here. Yeah, this is nicely done actually. Really nice beer. Yeah, it's just an inter a really interesting blend of flavours. At the back corner of the palate, there's a little bit of earthiness. As you come further forward, it gets more floral and grassy, and it's it's got that bit of floral aromaticity on the front corners of the palate. And as you go round, for me, it's just a little bit more grassy, actually. And that mixes quite well with this sort of slightly spicy character that's coming out from the, the kind of woody and nutty flavours. There is a little element of a kind of whiskey taste to this one but the sort of butterscotchy flavours with the oaky woody and vanilla flavours it works it works really well there's quite an interesting complexity to this beer and um, obviously in Scotland the beers you're going to think about when you try this one are the Innocent Guns this is actually really different in the way it, in the way it comes across but yeah it's a really interesting blend the you can pick up some of the cereally and biscuity character in the middle of the palate. The caramelly flavours are on top of that. It's a bit of a butterscotchy thing. As I say, the oaky kind of woody spices in there too and some vanilla as well. But it's really, it's a really quite nice and interesting beer actually. It's definitely, the other one that I had from Strathay when was, was quite good. But this one is quite considerably better than the last one I had from them I would say. But yeah, definitely an interesting brew. If you like um, Ambrose with a bit of kind of earthy sort of cereally character, you will enjoy this one. And the woody kind of oaky spice gives it another dimension too. So make sure you have a go at it if you come across it. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, it is 
kind of fairly light to mid-bodied. It's quite a wet mouthfeel rather than an oily mouthfeel. Carbonation is quite smooth. There's a little bit of malty sweetness. Um, it does have a bit of dryness to the malt base too, and there's a wee bit of dryness from the hops as well. I'm not really getting much in the way of a kind of fruity character from this beer, like a little bit of red fruity ester or something. But um, other than that, it's, it's actually quite nice. I would definitely drink this beer again. There's a wee bit of alcohol warmth from it as well, and that's probably because the, the mouthfeel is, uh, is quite light on this one in comparison to it being quite thick so you do get that little bit of alcohol warmth from it but yeah it's it's a really quite interesting beer it's quite different from anything else i've come across in scotland so far so if you get the chance i would recommend that you try it whether or not it's a, a special edition i'm not quite sure it's not listed on their website when i checked earlier but give it a go if you come across it really quite an interesting brew for an amber ale it's probably one of the more kind of unusual ones that you're going to come across in scotland but yeah um thanks again for watching my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below always interesting to hear from you guys let me know your favorite beers from strathaven ales actually as well because i'd be interested to know what wants to try next but i hope you've enjoyed this beer review thank you once again for watching go and check out my social out all my social media but most importantly go and try some of the strathaven ales and support your local craft brewery. Slange just now and I will catch you soon. The Uskabe from Strathaven Ales in Straven to the south of Glasgow here in Scotland. Slange just now.